What's the tea, everybody? Hi. Today is Friday. That means Friday is a, a drag. And we're doing this look by Hidden Caboodle from Canada Drag Race, current episode. And this is from Runway Steampunk. I'm Elena, or Lottie Deluxe, that's here on Fridays. You can find me on Wow Presents Plus, on Painted as Raven Season 2, available right now. On my channel, you'll find this kind of thing. <laughs> The drag looks, impersonations, uh, face paint, you name it, just check it out later. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching this as a JT show, and we're going to create this eventually. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this. So before we begin, as usual, I'm going to disclaim this is a voiceover. I'm going to explain everything step by step, but it's not going to be one of those long-winded videos when I talk a lot. Obviously, it's just one eye blended, and this is all glued together with lash glue, all kind of pieces from dollar store. <laughs> everything is very crafty. I'm going to tell you at the end how I came up with it and what I use for everything. So, you know, very, very simple from household items that everybody has. Okay. <laughs> Okur. <laughs> so let's get right into this voiceover. So we're starting with ABH brow palette and I'm using light and dark color. I screwed with my eyebrows quite a bit <laughs> as usual because the eyebrows kind of make the face and every queen has her own look. Some of them similar, some are not, but the eyebrows really shape the face and create an expression. So sometimes I go back and kind of mess with them more after the eye makeup done. And now we're moving on with to Norvina. And this is volume six. All the pinks and purples. I'm kind of guessing she might have used ABH as well, but I'm not sure. So there you go. The purple creating the cut crease. She's very much like a classic drag makeup. I mean, she's a seasoned queen. Excuse the blurry look. I did not realize I was blurred. I'm not even sure why I was so blurry. <laughs> Too close to the camera, maybe. I don't know. But here we got the purple and blending with the pink. ABH is very pigmented. The looks always come out awesome. And how we shade in the, the other eye. So this is a steampunk look. Uh, uh, if you watched the episode, you remember uh, the other eye was missing. She says it was uh, taken by a shark attack or something she joked about. But it's supposed to be steampunk. So it's like all gears in her. So here I cut the crease and I'm setting with the white from ABH palette uh, from Norvina. And it kind of goes like deep into the low lash line as well. It's like a very large white area, classic drag look. Using uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner as well. It's one of my favorites. It really glides over anything pretty much, even glitter. Uh, just doing a thick black line to cover the lash line. I noticed Hidden Caboodle it really is a classic drag queen. She always uses her 301s. <laughs> I saw that. I can't recognize 301s from a distance. <laughs> uh, the under eye is pretty much unblended, just a thick eyeliner. Uh, going down and up, you know, create more of a cat eye. For the foundation, I'm using Floor Mar. Yes, I'm doing nice for her, as you noticed. I'm not sure how she did it, but in the workroom, it looked like she did the dark eye, you know, the black eye first, so I assume she does eyes first. Long story short, this is my soft tan foundation. As you can see, it matches my body, but not my face. I seldomly tan soft tan face, and my hands get light real quickly. See the difference between my hand and my face? <laughs> so this is Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, concealer. One of my favorite concealer formulas like ever, besides kimchi. And this is in color one. It's nearly white. It's very light. Hit and Caboodle is pretty pale. I mean, Canadians, I guess most of them are pale, I imagine. Unless you use soft tanners like me. So blend it out, make sure it's really bright in the middle. And we're using Anastasia Beverly Hills Mink Hunter Stick. 
and I just realized I badly need press on nails. My nails are ratchet AF and I just put them in the camera. <laughs> uh, just a regular contour, you know, the usual. I'm trying not to contour the sides of my face because her face is more full. She's a little, you know, like big rounded face. Uh, yes, I did kind of a finger blending with the nose. <laughs> her nose is not like particularly uh, snatched on the sides. It's more in the middle. She always does like a real thin white line in the middle. So I'm trying to do that and blending the contour, of course. I'm going to reinforce that white line with some more light concealer. Make sure it's a really straight line in the middle. Now we're doing uh, the contour with Yardy Cosmetics. It's a small indie brand and it's very pigmented. It's a beautiful color scheme. But they have Culture 1 and Culture 2. It's like a two different tones, so Culture 2 is for the lighter skin tones. And using Kim Chi Shake Beauty Almost Catfished to lighten up the middle, a real brighten all the light areas. And the same brand, Yardy Cosmetics, using pinks for the blush, because she's very pink. You might have noticed that Kitten Kabuto really likes pink. <laughs> she's up to my heart because I love pink too, and she's always pink, pink, pink. The lip liner, I don't remember what it is, to be honest. I don't know. I know it's not ABH because I was looking for something of that kind of a deep pink tone, and I couldn't find it. So I have no idea what I grabbed. <laughs> For the lips, I used Maybelline first, uh, the matte ink, and then I decided I needed something brighter. So I'm using for Weimar lipstick. Like, out of all things, uh, that was gifted by a hand, so I'm not sure what tone it is. The tone is bright, tacky pink, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and this is from a dollar store. It's actually from Dollar Tree. It's like those party birthday garlands and things you hang on the wall. So I cut it up in different shapes to create gears and, you know, the eye mask. It's supposed to be a little more rusty, I think, but it will do. I use the lash glue and I kind of stab them with scissors to create like a nail mark. So there goes the scissors. And she's here. Kitten Caboodle in Stinkpunk Eleganza Extravaganza. What do you guys think? So I'm gonna explain myself as usual. As usual, on this channel, you'll only find crafty outfits. <laughs> because, I mean, let's be real, I'm not gonna make a whole drag outfit, you know, just for one look that nobody's watching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean, you know. For the YouTube, we'll just do something simple. This is the hat that I do have. It's just a normal black hat. And this is water bottle from Aldi. We get the, um, you know, the purified water, because, yeah, purified water. I mean, cats have to drink clean water too, right? <laughs> Completely off the topic. But anyway, I cut the bottle in half. I stuffed it in there. I put my uh, old leggings over it, kind of wrapped them around. Uh, if you live in California, you know what Ralph's is. Ralph's, the grocery store, they have brown bags like this. I don't have any brown belt or any brown leather, so let it go. Ralph's back. It kind of looks ratchet, but this is steampunk, so it's supposed to kind of look a little, you know, worn off. Uh, apocalyptic, right? <laughs> apocalyptic, all right. Uh, the same Ralph's back here. Kind of all old chains and things. And yeah, this is from Sheen. I got this for Zumba, by the way. If you teach him Zumba, it kind of looks like a steampunk too. And the wig, I'm most proud of. I steam, steam punked it. <laughs> I had to do a pun. I mean, a steam style. This wig, this was the cheap synthetic wig. It was straight and flat. I'm kind of proud of myself. And I think it's going to be cute. Sunglasses, goggles, and there you go. I explained myself. <laughs> yeah, this part was actually fun to make. This was all made, I showed you, out of um, kind of like a dollar store, dollar tree decor. I think I got them in Dollar Tree. One of those garlands for like birthdays and celebrations. I got the gold like circles 
and some garlands. So I cut them all up in different shapes and pieces, made holes in them to create gears, you know, so it kind of looks very funky, you know. And there you go, I just pretty much uh, lash glued everything, didn't use prosade, because prosade like, takes forever to dry, lash glue is faster, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> And the contacts are different colors. This was, I'm not even sure where this came from. I don't remember. I think I bought it. Or maybe it was PR. Have no idea at this point. And this is from the new collection of, uh, collection. The new PR from my IBB that I have a discount for. Uh, the shameless plugin, if you're interested. My IBB is uh, Elena Twenty for 20% off. And Elena for buy two, get two free. The real cool uh, sun sunglasses, what I'm saying. The cool contact lens has the very, very bright, interesting colors. And this was uh, a ray iris gray and it literally almost looks like white. So I love that, you know, for this kind of look. Now, if you look to her Instagram page, she posted this look like you know post production when you do like the look after the drag race like real nice recreation the same as HIT I did was painted as rape and recreated my looks better but um hers was red and I bet you she face to the hell out of this eyeball <laughs> because I've done it too all it take the color the paint tool and they put red over because you can see her eye through it but it looks cool but I kind of like the white actually better than the red just my preference Reference. Uh, yeah, by the way, I love, love Kitten Caboodle because Kitten Caboodle is the oldest drag queen ever graced the drag race. And I'm thinking if I ever make it <laughs> to drag race, I still have time. <laughs> Except she's got years of experience and I have none. <laughs> Except for this. So, and my personality. <laughs> But, you know, everybody starts somewhere, but I'm very happy for her that she made it. She's doing pretty well. And, and she's oblivious about the emoji. I don't know. I don't know either. Have you guys heard that the uh, the thumbs up emoji is sarcastic? I have no idea. I never heard such thing either. Maybe I'm as oblivious as she is, but we got something in common. Anyway, leave me a comment like this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to my channel if you like and a notification bell. All the links to my social media are below in the description box. So thank you all for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next fabulous video. Hannes. Oh, I have to put another okur. <laughs> Bye.